picture's worth a thousand words, then television or video is worth a thousand pictures. Hi, I'm News 13's Dave Malkoff. I am, for lack of a better term, a professional storyteller. But today, I'm turning the cameras around on you, showing you how a story goes from idea to air. It begins at the crack of dawn every day. First people to arrive are the folks who work on the assignment desk. This to a four for today and on the rest for the central nervous system of the newsroom. We have a lot of camera crews and a lot of reporters all working uh, for the same goal, and that is to put on a great newscast. But someone's got to tell them where to go and what to cover, and that all comes out of this desk. We all throw out our story ideas. We look at what's on what's called an agenda that the assignment desk puts together of stories that are um, events that are scheduled to happen. And then we all throw out our ideas. At 9.15 a.m., we decide what stories will most likely be on the news tonight at 5 and 6. Mark Sayer left to go to the city council. Where the morning meeting is where reporters, photographers, producers, and managers decide what's important today in Las Vegas. We discuss all the relevant topics of the day. Meet reporter Brandon Rue. Today he's been assigned to a weather-related story. My beat is environmental and weather-related stories. Um, making phone calls, making contacts with the people, making sure they're, they want to go on camera. It's always a big deal. People like to talk about their stories, but when you talk about getting the cameras in their faces, it's a different thing. So, got to make sure you can put all your ducks in a row and get the people to tell the story for you. Yes! On the other end of the line is a man who's built a house that literally creates its own heat from the ground beneath it. To tell this story on television, Brandon has teamed up with photographer Chris Benka. It's about geothermal energy. This home up there has uh, 19 wells in their yard and they heat and cool their home geothermally. The best part about our job is that every day it's a different story. We see a different part of the valley every day, meet different people. Right now we're on our way out to do our story. Hi, I'm Chris Benka. I'm a photojournalist here at um, KTNV. Right now I'm just um, zeroing out my tape counter and um, putting some bars at the top of the tape. It's a team effort. Photographer, reporter. From carrying the gear inside. How are you, Alan? Brandon Rue, Chris Banka. The story is about the heat underneath Alan's house. But to tell that one minute, 30 second story on television takes over an hour to shoot. Tell me what we got out here. How long have you been here? Did you build the house originally? We have, we have Sound is important not only from Alan here today who's the homeowner, but we have you know the professional in here doing what he's doing. He's adding insight as to what's going on. Uh, he was talking about these pipes coming out of the ground, so I'm shooting some of these pipes and his, how he's got it set up in his backyard to show how you know the backyard looks to everybody. Chris, you want to go inside and we can uh, come, we can come back outside and get all the stuff Maybe at the end. A television news reporter needs to be efficient with his time. He needs to know exactly what questions to ask, exactly what shots need to go in the story, and exactly how much time he has to do it. Because the assignment desk is always waiting for the next story. Why well, keep looking at my watch? <laughs> um, there's always something else to do. And um, I still have to go back and shoot something else back at the station. So we have to be back at by one. So I'm, this is this is like the magic hour you got crunch. Yeah, I wanted to talk to Mayor. Maybe Brandon can do that for me. I'll just page him directly. Thanks. Yeah, just page Ron White on his next cell. He'll be able to help you out. It's uh, things like that that uh, you have to um, you know manage all of your uh, crew's requests for information and make sure that reporter gets photographer and a photographer gets a reporter and they're out at the right place at the right time to cover the news as it happens. Three, two. Geothermal energy is not only efficient, it's clean. The cold air in the summer comes out of these vents while the heat comes straight out of the floor. And eventually they come back to the newsroom and put it all together in one package. They write their story, they edit their story, and then they air their story in the five or six o'clock news. So money isn't quite what everybody thinks it is, and yeah, stress of deadlines every day, but I think the general theme here is that we get to get out and do stories like this, meet people like we met today, and learn all at the same time while bringing our viewers insight and information. Back at the station, they are already getting ready for the news. Brandon is in an edit bay, putting the pieces of his story together. Coming out of the ground, up through here. There are 30 frames for each second, and each frame 
has its own number. So with these digital systems that we have now, you can literally punch in the exact hour, minute, and frame and hit enter and it'll go straight to that sound bite that you're looking for. I am the anchor, Ross Becker. What I have to do is I have to make sure I understand this story and all of our stories better than the people who actually reported them because I'm the final editor. I'm the guy that sits out there in between you, the viewer, and us, the collectors of news, and I have to make sure it's right because if it goes out of my lips wrong, you're gonna get it wrong and I don't want that to happen. Track one, take one. Al and Ethel Jacobs have a unique home in Northwest Las Vegas. Hi there. My name's Kathy Ray, and I do the news here at News 13, or 13 Inside Las Vegas. Um, I do the, the 5 and the 6 and the 6.30 and the 11. Take one. Pipes scatter. Yeah. Track three, take two. This is called an IFB. Okay, it's like a little earpiece. Um, put it in like this. Take a close look. Hope I clean my ears out so it's there, like this. And then, see, it's attached right here. This long cord, and I stick this into the desk, okay, out there at the anchor desk. And what this does is I can hear what's on the air. I can hear Dave Malkoff reporting or whomever out there. I can also hear the director, the producer, if they want to talk to me directly and say, you know, Kathy, be quiet. Geothermal energy is not only efficient, it's clean. The cold air in the summer comes out of these vents while the heat comes straight out of the floor. The one thing that separates broadcast media from the newspaper is this truck right here. This is actually a portable television studio. We can take you somewhere live as it's happening. Well, if you've ever seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, it's kind of like that. What we do is we take Kim and we put her into a million different radio waves and send her up into the sky and then back down to your TV. They probably think I have a prompter in front of me that I'm reading, which I don't because it's all here and it's in my head and that's why we mess up every once in a while. <laughs> Covering yeah. Southern Nevada, this is 13 Inside Las Vegas. 13 Inside Las Vegas reporting. Can't sure whether that one of the set is slated to be closed. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Of course, uh, nothing posted here yet. This quick care uh, by the community college. Most everything you see is brand new, but you know what? We do recycle. Well, actually, there's a little bit of an edge when you're getting ready to go on television. I mean, you're not really nervous. You're just starting to focus in. You got to make sure you say all the right things and you communicate properly. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but you know, especially sitting next to Kathy. Of course, One double line to some five is to the Brandon Rue story. Well, all this time, Chris Baker has been editing. Now, time's up. Let's take a look at how it looks on the air. Covering Southern Nevada, this is 13 Inside Las Vegas, live at 6.30. Welcome back. I'm Kathy Ray. Uh, and I'm Ross Becker. Uh, 13 Inside reporter Brandon Rue uh, takes us to a place now where they're saving a lot of money tapping in what's called geothermal energy. You can't control your taxes, but you can control your energy costs. Al and Ethel Jacobs have a unique home in northwest Las Vegas. Let me put it this way. It works. It works big time. For every one dollar you'll spend on geothermal for electricity to run it, you would normally spend three dollars on conventional. Geothermal energy is not only efficient, it's clean. The cold air in the summer comes out of these vents while the heat comes straight out of the floor. We don't have time to show you the entire story here. We don't even have time to show you the entire process. But this is just a taste of what it's like every day to work in TV news, making a story from idea to air. Brandon Rue, 13 Inside, inside Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. It's like getting all excited for a soccer game or a baseball game or a football game. You're excited, you're up for it, you're a little nervous, but not enough so you can't get out there and play the game. When you get done, it feels like a weight off your shoulders. Yes, you can breathe again. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. And that's all the time we have for now. Stay tuned uh, for Millionaire. That's up next. And we'll see you back here at 11 right after the season finale of The Bachelor. Good night.